hello everyone welcome to our solidworks simulation channels in today lecture you will learn to perform or how to perform a non linear static analysis on a this shackle part so in non linear stat static analysis you will evaluate time history plot of different result resultant parameters like stresses deformations against time actually in non linear static analysis we apply a time varying load so let's see how we can do a non non linear analysis first of all download this model from our video descriptions and start a new simulation study and from the advanced option select the non linear options and that is the static not dynamic please note that we have already performed its linear static analysis and also evaluated its stresses you can see here the stresses on the non linear static analysis is about 585 megapascals but we want to check what will happen if we apply a time varying loads or non linear simulations just go to properties first of, first of all assign the material to this part that is stainless steel aisi 1035 and before applying go to table and curves and from the type select the stress strain curve so this is the stress strain curve is necessary if you are going to perform a this type of simulations apply so you have applied a material with its stress strain curves if we go to the properties of this simulations you can see different parameters that is the stepping options and time of this simulations is 1 second here we have selected automatic time stepping and leave other parameter defaults now you will apply the fixtures select the this inner face of circle and also this face and apply fixed boundary conditions after that you will apply a load on this face and from the direction the options select the top plane and select normal to the plane options reverse its directions and select the load of 19000 newton and in the last you will apply a creator creature curvature based mesh so select the create mesh and from the mesh parameters select curvature based mesh wait until mesh is being generated so a curvature based mesh has been generated now just edit the load and from the variation with time select the curve type and edit it so in the x axis you are giving the time and in the y axis is the load multiplier this is load multiplier multiplier that mean in the one second 
whole load will be applied. So load will apply in this in this form. Okay. So run your simulation study now and wait. Okay. Until your solution converged. So our simulation study has been completed now. You can see the stress results that maximum stress that occurs at the time of one second. You can see this is the maximum stress for the time of one second is 313 megapascals. Remember that uh, this stress is less than that of the stress we achieved or observed in the static simulations. That was the 585 megapascals. So this is the most, uh, this is more, more correct answers that how much stress will be generated by applying this type of load in first one seconds. If we click on this double arrow, you will see the time loads. So this is the stress at 0.95 seconds that is 307 megapascals. Similarly, again click down. So here we have the time that is 0.85 seconds. And at this time, the stress is 297 megapascals. And this way, you can evaluate the deformations in different times. So this total deformation is 0.23 millimeter per one second, at one second. Just this is the deformation at point. 85 seconds. You can see the results of deformations as well as stresses at different times and as well as at different locations. In order to evaluate time history loads, just right click on the results and define, click on define time history plot. Here you select the nodes where you here is the all nodes or you can select the nodes of your own, own test we want to evaluate the stresses here and also the node number one so its value is in megapascals Okay. So you can see that the, this here is stress at node 1, this red line is stress at node 1 and this is the at node 1898. Similarly, you can also evaluate the time history plot of the deformations. I hope you enjoyed this SOLIDWORKS simulation study. Please make a practice of these tutorials. Thank you for your time.